Liana, hello. What is up you guys, it's Leanna Vlogs here and welcome to part two of my bunion surgery recovery. Um, today I'm getting this splint off and I'm getting a cast. So I'm just gonna vlog from today on forward for part two and I hope you guys enjoy and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. just want to stay in your body oh, forever <laughs> well they dissolve they're dissolvable okay that's it <sighs> they're dissolvable oh, I mean that's why I do them I'd like I'd like for them to come out but so my, my skin healed like too fast or... yeah. <laughs> and then they just dissolve <laughs> What is up you guys? Um, so first and foremost, I must apologize. For the past four weeks, I literally have no content because I've been at school, I got sick, you know, like I was going through it and uh, this dude got surgery cause he got bit. You know, it's just like the, the, the 2019 is starting off a little bit rough, but you know, since we're starting so low, that means the only way to go is up, man. So it's okay, it's okay. All right, so these past four weeks, I've been at school um, crutching. I've been on crutches, which is why it's kind of hard for me to vlog and crutch. You know, I can't really do that. So it, I, I, I always want it to be in the moment, but it couldn't this time. So I apologize for that, but I've been getting around school pretty well. Thankfully, I have a friend who has a car, so he whips me sometimes and there's the bus that you know is always there so it's it hasn't been too it hasn't been too bad honestly but uh getting around school is a little bit rougher um but i do get the rides from the disability services cards that uci provides so um it, it's they drive me from like building to building basically from my classes so it's pretty convenient there um but their their services stop at like 7 p.m and i have a class that ends at 8 20 so after 8 20 i gotta fend for myself but it's okay, it's, it's really not that bad, it's 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 cool. So today, um, time flew, right? I get my cast off, that, that's, that's, it's been four weeks. So um, it hasn't, the recovery's been pretty good. It's not painful anymore to put it down. Any position is like pretty comfortable. It doesn't hurt at all. There's no pounding, there's no pain at all. And I've actually, I shouldn't be doing this, but I have been like kind of walking on my cast. I'll show you guys.
the cone of shame. That was a nod. Um, yeah, okay, so the past four weeks, in my apartment, it's it's really annoying. It's really annoying being crippled. Like, you, you the simplest task just seems so arduous, you know? Like, it's just like, I don't want to do it. It's like, it's right there, but I have to get up and, like, you know, use my crutches to get there. And, like, it's just, like, the, the smallest thing. Going to the bathroom, I will literally hold my pee for an extra hour or two because I just don't feel like going. Like, it's a lot of work, you know? Going to school for the past four weeks, though, hasn't been too bad. There's times where it's like it just takes a toll on your mental and your physical health because you just want to go out there and do things, but you, like you can, but it's just double the work, double the effort. And so you just really don't feel like it. I mean, for me personally, I'm just lazy. So, you know, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to do it. Being in a cast is very annoying, though, because you can't in my splint. Um, I was able to fit my hand in there to scratch, you know, wherever is itchy. But this thing, um, that's as far as my hand goes, which is about right here. And most of the itches occur in this general area for some reason, and like right here. And I can't reach that. So I have these unnecessarily large chopsticks that are for some reason connected with a string. I don't know, they're kind of like nunchucks. And, um, but yeah, so I've been using these large chopsticks that my parents obviously will not be using to eat anymore. And you know, just getting in there because woo, they go all the way in, man. See the the chopsticks right now are right here. Like they go they go all the way in, and there's still extra space for my hand. Like it's just great. So you know, if those uh, out there have a cast, um, find a large stick because it, it it feels amazing. It feels so good. You know, when it's like itchy and it's just a spot you can't reach, and you just it's really go, go ham in there. You know, I am extremely excited to get my cast off. Like I cannot wait to just itch like scratch you know like it just i was so excited and to shower with my leg in the shower this time because all this time i've been having to use a shower chair in the bathroom so i like sit down for all my showers and then i have to wrap a plastic bag like a trash bag around my entire leg and then keep it outside of the shower and people buy those like those shower for casts you know those little like, plastic things for 25 dollars on amazon you could or you could get a trash bag and just tie it. It works the same, I promise you. And you just put the shower curtain over your leg and it covers it, it doesn't get wet. Save money, live better. I do expect this cast removal to be kind of gross in terms of like all the dry skin and just the, the it's just nasty. I don't know, man, I don't know how to describe it. It's just gross. I mean, the leg hasn't been washed or lotioned in over a month. So you can only imagine what's under there right now. Kind of gross, but I um, hope you guys enjoy watching this cast removal in about, well, it doesn't matter for you guys. It's going to be in the next few seconds. So, ha, bye. Alright, so I'm back home now, and um, I, I'm just baffled, disgusted, taken aback by all this nastiness. Like, oh my god, like, what? That is just so gross. That, ooh, ooh. I got a bruise there. I don't know why, but it doesn't really hurt, to be honest. But, um, yeah, so I have all this dead skin, as you can see. It's just like peeling off like it's it's pretty freaking gnarly oh my god holy jesus what the hell looks like a dragon scale oh god i'm disgusted i'm so disgusted 
it's just it's all peeling off man it's like one of those uh those videos that you know people enjoy that's like they're oddly disgusting but satisfying ow That zoom in action right there. Y'all see that? Oh, gross. And I hope you're not watching this while you're eating because that's disgusting. All this dry, nasty skin right here, like this. Yeah, I don't claim her. This, this pink, you know, soft skin. That's my skin right there. All this nasty gunk on top. Um,. Nah, man, it's not mine. I don't, I don't claim it, man. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak my foot in this bucket of water to like soften up all the dead skin, and hopefully it could like easily peel off. Cause right now it's pretty, it's pretty still stuck to my skin. It doesn't want to come off yet. So, uh, but it's coming off because. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna soak it. Alright, so I soaked my foot for like 25 minutes now, and as you can see, like, the dead skin is, I mean, looks kind of the same, but looks like softer and easier to remove. <clears throat> and, um, uh, y'all see this nastiness? Oh my god, all that right there, all that gunk, all that dead skin. I'm a barf. So, um, I have this plastic knife. And some floss. I, I I really don't know, y'all. I'm gonna have to be innovative on how I'm gonna go about this. But we're gonna we're gonna go with the knife first, nice and plastic. Um, you know, kind of a little a little rough, but we'll go soft. Let's see. Oh dear Jesus, that is so gross. Okay, here we go. Well, I scraped off what I could. Uh, looks a lot better than before I soaked it. Still pretty, pretty gross. Um, there's like, you know, still leftover uh, dead skin. But um, it's an improvement. It's step by step, you know, I mean, you see all that nastiness. But that's the aftermath of scraping. It's just all dead skin. Six weeks of skin right here, man. And um, I think the rest, I'll just have to scrub it off in the shower and just use like a hand towel because this is just, yeah, gotta, gotta get it over with. And here you can see my scar more clearly now. It's, I mean, here's this one. And then here's this one. This one's like, kind of like a squiggle. This one's more of a straight line. But um, yeah, so. That's, that, that's that. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that nasty, nastiness. Hello, everyone. It has been another two and a half months since the last clip. I, again, apologize for the inconsistency. Um, but I am now four, about to be four months post-op on my right foot. And so I kind of wanted to show you guys a before and after type of thing. So here's the before. And here's the after. So as you can see, the scar is healing up pretty well. I would say this is four months post-op and this is about eight months post-op. So um, yeah, the scar is healing. It's still pretty dark, but it'll become lighter over time, obviously. Um, I can, okay, wow, ouch. 
uh, I can, you know, scratch my toes moderately. Uh, I can kind of tippy toe. I, ca I can't really balance, I'll be honest. It does kind of hurt to tippy toe after, you know, a few seconds. But um, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. I can walk, I can kind of run. Here's me attempting to balance on my tippy toes. I really can't, but I didn't have that much balance before the surgery anyway. But um, I definitely cannot balance on just one foot. Like it hurts. It hurts in this general area right here. Um, I would hope that over time it will, you know, become less painful. But um, other than that, it's it's not too bad. There's no there's no pain anymore. Uh, like in this area. And uh, for this foot, it's still numb on this side of the scar. But like over here, I can feel it. But right here, I cannot. But this one, I can. It's like it's it's not numb anymore. But yeah, this side, the numbing, whatever they put in my foot, is still uh, still there. It's it's pretty strong. Um, but yeah. So this is this is the before and afters. There, as you can see, the uh, lump, the big bone that was popping out in the before pictures I was no longer there they shaved them down and um, my toe obviously does not do that angle as much um, as before and this is the result so originally I did film over spring break which was about two weeks ago um, I did a little Q&A session where I compiled a list of questions about the surgery and then I answered them face to face like this and you know I had the video I edited it right and it was ready to go and then things went slightly array and basically to sum it up, the footage is gone. It is in the abyss of who knows what it is gone. It is far gone. So I lost it. Um, it's, it's a tragedy indeed. But uh, I guess a bright side of that outcome is that you guys get to now ask more questions and I'll make a bigger list. Um, because originally I was gonna put the Q&A in this video, but I realized this video is kind of already long. So, um, plan B, okay? So, if you guys have any questions at all about the surgery, please feel free to ask in the comments down below. Um, I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, if they don't make it to the video cutoff, cause I don't know when I'm gonna film it. But when I do, if your comment comes after I film it, then I'll just answer it in the comments. But if you ask before it, then I'll just favorite it and then I'll um, answer it in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you for always being patient with my inconsistent ass. Um, if you liked the video, please drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, you know, do what you want. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Oh yeah.